Do my part. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is a busy, busy Saturday at the mall. First things first, free samples. <laughs> free samples. <laughs> Where are the free samples? In July, I think it was, of 2009, actually. Do you really? remember that? No. We Should I remember that? started trying to get pregnant. We started trying to get pregnant on our wedding night. Let's just be honest. <laughs> but in July 2009, we had just bought a house in 2008. It was our first house. And we were like, okay, we are like ready to like really start trying to get pregnant. And we had no idea how long <laughs> that journey was going to be. So it's been a long, long journey. And we've gone through a lot of struggles and a lot of trials, but I think overall it was, you know, we grew closer together, helped our um, faith, you know, and just going through those struggles, you know, brought us closer together. Yeah, and looking back on it now, I can really see Heavenly Father's hand through the whole thing. And there were plenty of times during our infertility journey that I thought that he wasn't hearing us or that he forgot about us. No, I knew I knew he did, but it's, for me. It just stunk that every all of our friends were like kid after kid after oh kid. Oh my gosh. Like, ah. <laughs> we had friends like starting with their first kid and then now they have like four kids. Yeah, four. <laughs> and last year we were really praying hard to know what the next step was gonna be in our fertility journey, if we should start things like IVF and things. And I was praying about it. How you doing? I was praying about it. Pull and it together, Brittany. I know. And um, adoption had been speaking to my heart a lot over that past seven years of trying to get pregnant. I really received the answer that adoption was the way that Heavenly Father had planned all along. I went to Joe and we had talked about adoption a lot through the years and it was something that we were definitely open to. Over time, I prayed about it and prayed about it and um, an experience happened with uh, Brittany's brother actually where they've got three adopted kids and I've drawn, drawn really close to those kids and um, I, I realized like, holy cow, like, I love these kids like so much. And I'm their uncle. I think I'm really grateful for that experience and their example. Uh, Sean and Jen, you know who you are. When I got my answer that adoption was really for us, we I went to Joe and um, told him what I had been feeling and I thought that I was gonna have to like have a big long conversation with him, but I didn't know that he was already on his journey towards um, realizing that adoption was for our family. So when I went to him, he was just like, yeah, like he was already there. That was last July, July 2015, and we decided to start down the road towards um, adopting. Going inside of Nordstrom. Why? To get something special. Yeah? So should I try one of these on? <laughs> no. So over the summer uh, 2015, we did a ton of research and you know, how do we adopt? Like what, what do you do in Colorado? Um, so in October, we met with one of the best, I mean, he probably is the best lawyer in Colorado. So we hired him and said, if we want to adopt, here's what we're trying to do. And he's, he's uh, like, yeah, we can do this. So when we decided that we wanted to adopt, we decided that we wanted to do a domestic adoption, which is you know, adopting here in the States and not adopting from like another country. So within the United States of America. You know, yeah. Within the borders. 
So we knew that we wanted an open adoption. We never wanted our children to feel like they were given up because they weren't loved. We wanted them always to know that they were so loved by their birth parents and that their parents made a selfless and loving decision um, to place them in a home that can give them the best life possible. And so that was the type of adoption that we chose we wanted to do. So in October, we had started the whole process of adoption and we were both like really excited to be starting a whole new journey because we had been on one journey for seven years and then here we were like starting down a completely different path and we had no idea what was in store for us and what the adoption journey was gonna look like for us. But we had so much faith going into the adoption journey and just so much love and gratitude in our hearts. And we just knew 100% that we were on the path that Heavenly Father wanted us to be on. outfit. It has the little bears on it. Yeah, because you always call me bear. Yeah. I like this because my little guy looked like a NASA guy. A little what? A little, my little guy looked like a NASA guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, it comes with a hat. Do you love dogs so much? Yeah. Moxie's going to be a little friend. Oh. A little kitty. Little doggies. Oh. This is super cute. It has mint. Oh, wow. That's all minty. <laughs> I like these. Oh my gosh, Brittany. This is cute. This is really cute, too. Oh, honey. Oh, is that? Roses. Roses. Oh, roses. This is cute. So I'll let Brittany kind of explain the situation because it was kind of, a, it's definitely a unique adoption story. So in November we got a call from potential birth parents, which was crazy because first you have to get approved for adoption before you can have your profile out there allowing you to be chosen by birth parents. So we were still in the process of just getting approved. So we were not expecting to be contacted by birth parents at all. Um, but it was actually somebody we knew uh, and they had just found out that they were pregnant and it was actually my brother and his girlfriend um, who had just found out that they were pregnant. They called and you know explained that they weren't really in the position to have a baby at that point in their lives and that they knew that we were starting the um, adoption process and if that was something that we would be open to. So as you can imagine, we were like, what the frick? <laughs> Totally um. unexpected. So basically when they had first called us, we, Joe and I talked about it and prayed about it and we got back to them and we were basically just saying, you guys just found out that you're pregnant, you might be in shock or, you know, basically take like three or four months to like sleep on it and pray about it. Um, so basically we knew that they were thinking about it and they knew that we were thinking about it, but we were kind of doing it separately and just giving everybody their space to really pray about it and think about it. Um, and then about a month ago, maybe a little bit more, um, they had both called me on the phone. Joe was working, so it was just a conversation that I had with them. And they both sounded like they had very heavy hearts. And um, they were just saying that they knew that this was something that they just couldn't take on right now in their lives. And that they knew that adoption was something that they wanted to continue to um, proceed with. I came over for dinner and I looked them both in the eyes, you know, like right here. And I said, um, if you guys are serious, then then we will be the parents of your baby. And they both said, yeah. So by the end of that conversation, I'm crying. Um, I'm getting choked up. And I said, okay, when's the next ultrasound? And 
Then they said, well, what is it? The next, was the next Monday, the following Monday, like a couple days from then, uh, we went down and um, I had never been to an ultrasound. So first of all, that crap's crazy. <laughs> uh, but it was just crazy to think like, okay, now I started looking at the baby bump as that's my daughter. The ultrasound started and then I saw her face and I was like, holy cow, like that is my future baby. Like, yeah, it was definitely a special moment for all of us. Here's the baby. Whoa, it's a heartbeat? Yeah. There's the heartbeat noise right what there. What the heck? And we're gonna listen to that, we can get that. Great. It's perfect. This is crazy. Isn't that great? <laughs> Joe is going crazy here. We were just supposed to pick one outfit, but he wants to buy her socks. Dude, I am, it's my daughter, okay? <laughs> I've dreamed of this. A long time, Ooh, feel that. Oh, we should get that. What is that? A blanket. Joe, you're gonna spoil her rotten. He is okay. literally wanting to buy everything. I got a headband bowl. Okay, is that the one you want, honey? Mm -hmm. There's more over here. Oh, that's the one we're gonna get. Okay. It has a pearl and what's special to us. So we are so so excited to finally be parents. It's been a really long, hard road at times, but we're so excited and we can't even begin to express the love and gratitude that we have towards Ben and Sarah. Yeah, we love you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you. Um, I don't even know how to describe what you guys are giving to us and the sacrifice you guys are making. From the bottom of our hearts, we are super grateful. We love that child so much already. I am so looking forward to being a father. I am. I want to take that little girl by the hand, walk through a field of you know flowers and take her shopping and you know get her first car and all these things. We know that this is Heavenly Father's plan for us, for you guys, and for her. And um, I gotta tell you, I had such a blast, and it was such an honor, and so much fun to go shopping for her for the first time. I went a little nuts. So Harper Annette Paradise will be joining us July 25th, yep. 2016. A little baby girl. Or sooner, or later. So we are obviously just through the roof excited. We want to say thank you to all of you guys for supporting us through this journey so far. And yeah, I think we're going to end it here. All right, guys. All right, later. Bye. Bye.